In this video, I'll be walking you through Chat GTP and Google Bed. Okay, so Chat GTP is owned by OpenAI. All right, why Google Bed is owned by Google. All right, so once you go to openai.com slash chat gtp it's going to lead you here and it says get instant answer find lucrative inspiration and learn something new use chat gtp today all right you can click on try on web okay so when you click on try on web it leads you to where you either log in or sign up so if you want to access chat gtp you just go to chat.openai.com all right so that of Google Bed, to access it, you just type bed, B-A-R-O-D dot Google dot com. Okay? So this is also a question and answer AI2, just like chat GTP. Okay? Now here it says experiment. According to Google, it is under experiment, but is really giving good, great results. Okay? So you can try it, you can use it. So in this video, we'll be showing you how to sign up or set up your chat gtp account and your google bed account and then um, we'll walk you through the interface okay i am using my phone to do this you can use your computer your laptop your iphone your um tablet any phone any gadget that has internet access to do this your computer or your phone all right so here you click on try bed or try bad okay so when you click on it, you'll be asked to confirm your privacy settings and your and the terms and conditions, okay? And mind you, you need to log in, okay? Your Google or Gmail should be logged in, all right? If your Google or Gmail is not logged in, then you'll be asked to log in, okay? So just read this and click more, okay? Then once you are done reading, and accepting this accept their terms and condition you click continue okay so here you are you have signed up to google bed okay this is for google bed now let's go back to chat gtp so here you click on sign up okay and you can enter your email or you continue with google okay Either of them, once you enter your email, you'll be asked to create a password, okay? So this is my email. You click continue, okay? So you'll be asked to create a password. Let me create my password. Remember, we are creating an account, right? Okay, it says at least eight characters. Then you click on continue. Now you can see that Google Bed has sent me an email, okay? That I have joined Google Bed, okay? You can see it here. All right, so let's confirm that of chat GTP. All right, so you can see, verify your email, okay? So at this point, I will click verify email. And I will open it to verify my email. OK. So here you have to enter your first name, your last name, and your birthday. Okay, so after you are done, you click continue, you verify your phone number. All right, you'll be asked to solve a puzzle. Okay says use the arrow to rotate the animal to face the direction the hand is pointing okay 
all right so when you are done you click submit okay submit you solve the puzzle click submit okay you just need to solve the puzzle correctly okay it says verification complete okay now they will send you a code to your phone number all right this is the code you paste it now if you're using your computer you have to get your phone close by so that you can get the code all right so there we go we have successfully signed up on chat gtp and also on google bad okay so this is our google bad and this is chat gtp so this is how to sign up on these two different platforms okay ai platforms so you use your gmail to sign up on google bad you use your gmail too or any other email you have to sign up on chat gtp okay so i'll be walking you through on the environment and how to use chat gtp and google bad all right so this is our google bad okay so this is how the environment looks like so if you want to add any prompt or give it a command you type on this enter prompt space after you have typed it you click on this send icon this send icon will become clickable okay so when you click on this plus icon by the left you can add an image when you are clicking it for the first time a pop-up will appear then you click ok okay and it will bring you to this point where you can upload an image or you take photo from your camera all right then any prompt you enter any result that you get as long as you log into the same google bad account when you scroll up you are going to see the previous prompts and works you have done with this ai okay so because we have not started using this you are not going to see anything it's just blank all right now when it comes to chat gtp the same thing applies to chat gtp here you enter your prompt okay and this send icon becomes clickable all right here when you tap on this icon here you can start a new chat you can upgrade okay you can see your email address and when you tap here you can log out all right now when you have given a prompt okay you give a prompt and you want to search another prompt you click on this plus icon to start a new chat okay now when you tap here you are going to see all the chats or the works you have done with this particular ai okay it keeps history okay it keeps history of your work all right whatever you search or you do with it it keeps the history of it and you can go back to them so this is just a quick overview of how this ai2 works chat gtp and google bad okay they are easy to use the interface is simple the same thing applies when you are using your computer all right so we'll be going into practical using these ai tools to perform certain tasks or get certain results